Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Slaughter Frontier 2. In our last episode, Will caught up with us over in the North Gates and joined us as we made our way over to Thermes. Then, once there, we met up with Vantarbre and his apprentice Mathia, then finally made our way over to Han Nova, which we are escaping from. Since Will sensed the egg was there, and he sent the egg sensed him, so we had the GTFO. So, also, um, before, well, in between episodes, I did a lot of training, actually. Um, everyone is, it's much more powerful now, while well, mostly. I set a couple of a couple goals for the area for right now. Um, for Primera, just staff and Roberta to have over 500 HP. Um, you need to crack 400 HP. Um, I also wanted to staff to hit 100 WP, which he did. Um, I wanted Primera to reach 100 WP as well, but she's not quite there yet, but she will be soon enough. And um, that's pretty much it. Just really work on um, skill levels for everybody, so I'll just go and show these off real quick. Um, pretty much everybody has their main weapon of at least 30. Um, Primera speed level 30, just staff sword level 34. Roberta only at 29, but Beast level is also 23, so I had him use use a special shot over and over and over again. Um, Jenny, 36 for her, so I had her use a, um, use a, what is it, incineration for quite a while. So we are much, much more powerful now, but I'm not ready for the end of the game quite yet, but soon enough. Anyway, that's, once we make it, uh, um, make our way down here, we're going to go south first thing, and then we'll make our, we'll veer off to the right in just a short second. And then I do like how the uh, reuse Sargon's theme here, and why are there ghouls here? Um, kind of weird, but oh well. Now, pretty much what I did um, for my training, I gave everybody some weaker arts to use, mainly Primera and the staff, um, lower WP costing arts to help them conserve WP in battle. So like aiming, uh, heaven and hell, stuff like that, that's what I use for them. Um, let's go for the Horn Buffalo first thing, as he's the hardest enemy here. Um, yeah, just, uh, for Roberta's to have him tip using Spectral Shot, because um, it's very, very powerful, works on bow and beast level. And then Denny have her go with Gale Strike for a while to work on her staff and tree level, and then go for incineration to work on flame tree and stone. So there you go. And also, uh, if you're training around here um, for Roberto, for in his case, um, at this point I do not have an unbreakable bow for him yet. So uh, some enemies around here, I forget which one, um, but they drop a pit spider bow for him. Um, it's a rather weak bow, but it's better to have him use one of those because you can save your uh, more powerful bows for later on. Like um, I still have the uh, the wild rose and the wisteria bow from earlier. And I want to save those for later on, because they're a lot more powerful. I don't want to waste them with just training around here, so there you go. Yeah, I have I picked up, like, probably five or six of those, actually. But, um, yeah, they're pretty crappy, but they're really good for training, just because you can afford to have them break and not even have to worry about it. So there you go. Now, when we reach the screen down here, um, you'll see we're on a stone path right now, then we'll also see a dirt path. Um, from, very, from there, we're going to veer off to the screen's right, but it'll be Denny's left. So let's keep that in mind. And we have some more ants around here. These guys, again, not really too, too hard. Um, although I do recommend um, how the other guys go for the labor ants and didn't use incineration on the ant commander to one-shot him. Now, the one or two, um, I mentioned a couple episodes back, uh, learning soul him for the staff. Um, my friend's, uh, uh, fl friend's acquaintance explosion pills told me that, um, <coughs> excuse me, for the staff um, to learn soul him, the best chance to learn it for him is to fight ant commanders, either in a duel or just in a team battle. Um, it's a 2% chance to learn it, um, so that's your best bet, so if you fight, if, you fight, if you want Soul Him, fight Ant Commanders for it. And just use either Flame or Tone to learn it. But yeah, it's very, very hard to get, so don't expect you'll learn it. I'm gonna be honest there. But yeah, you can't learn it, you can't flat out learn it in a duel, you have to learn it after a natural team battle. You can't use a Flame Beast Tone combo to get it. But um, yeah, I've gone through many playthroughs of not having it, and then actually stopped and actually grinded and got it in the end uh, cave a while back in another file. It's very, very good, so if you want to take the time to get it, by all means, but you'll be there for a while, so just be braced for that. So anyway, WP for the staff, and sword level for the staff, and nothing else. Yeah, I mainly just want Ginny to work on her HP, just because her HP is crap right now, because it's only like 400 some, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, 410. Now, from down here, go off to the right, because there is something special that we can do here. Make our way down here, and there is a tree. Nothing too special, one would think. Although, there actually is. I want to go ahead and save first thing. <clears throat> um, you may or may not notice, uh, my time for my game has actually gone up quite a bit. Um, I was using Fast Forward on my emulator to help speed up the training. So it took about two hours of actual game time in here. But in real life, it's probably only about uh, 45 minutes or so. So there you go. Uh, Twitch save. Um, before we get going on this, um, showing off my setup real quick. Um, just keep your WPSB rather high. Um, if you do need to regain those points, just um, defend in a battle with regenerates. Um, just go from there. So anyway, time to this tree. Something not right with this tree. Huh, well whatever could it be? 
Now is not the time! Uh, yes, yeah, check it out. And it's glowing! You can kind of see... Um, well, I thought I saw see a picture of a tree there or something, but something crazy is going on with this tree. And what's going on? It's a mini-boss battle against an evil anima tree. Okay. Well, actually, this battle is not against the actual tree, it's just against these guys. They're not really that hard. Again, it's a mini-boss battle. So, let's we'll take down these guys. Now, these are crimes, and we have a deity in the back. I'm not, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, yeah, again, nothing too hard here. Um, just use your... Just use a medium-level arts around here, just to help conserve WP and SP. Although, for Denny and Roberto, go, in and go all out with their SP, because they have a lot of it. See, mainly my focus for characters long term is to have the staff and Primero work on their WP mostly. Um, and then Roberto and Denny work on SP only, because WP for them is not really that important. So, I mean, if you want to, by all means, go ahead and work on their WP. But it's not a huge deal. Mo you know, a focus more on SP for them, which is pretty easy, as is. Dolty Petra, I did not know you could use that, but oh well. Yeah, these guys, uh, actually, let's take out the, um... The uh, crimes first, just to minimize the number of tasks they have on me in one round. And just go over incineration. The nice thing about using incineration, it works on your flame, tree, and stone levels all at once. So, and plus, Denny has a plus in all three of them, so it makes sense to abuse it like hell. And I gotta stretch, just I am tired and well, not really tired, but kind of sore. Spitfire. I wish I could spitfire people. Maybe someday I can. Spectral Shot! Spectral Shot looks so badass, by the way. I, I just love that art. It's one of my favorite looking arts in the entire game. I mean, for one thing, it's powerful, and it also just looks badass. So there you go, we win. Easy enough. More WP for everybody, and SP for Denny. Good. We get a lot of chips. Well, not a lot, but it's something. And, oh, we did not get a certain sword here. Um, they can sometimes drop a Beowulf sword. It's um, a tap power of 37, 38, I believe. Um, so it's pretty decent, actually, but we don't really need it. Because, again, we have the, uh, the staff sword for the staff, obviously. So don't worry about it. Anyway, from down here, let's make your way over to... You know, down here right now. You also happen to notice the music around here is a little bit of a remix, actually, from um, other boss, other themes we've heard so far. So that's a nice touch. I like it when the game takes one central theme and they remix it. In, in, multiple, in multiple ways. I really do like that. Now, we make our way down here. I want to go ahead and save up again real quick for what's coming up next. So let's see here, yeah, go ahead and save up real quick. Thankfully, saving does not take all that long, so that's good. 30 hours even. With a lot of fast forward, and oh crap, they caught up with us. Oh, hi Sargon. Get them, and you turn into more monsters. Oh well. Okay, this, we have another mini boss battle right up here. Nothing really too, too hard. And Primera, why are you in the back? Should you be out front? Oh well, these guys are Garms. These are flaming hounds of hell. I don't know if I've showed these off before. Um, they're not that hard, really. I'm um, just go for um, just focus on focus on one at a time, really. Um, I did not mean to do that. Uh, go over to you. Um, incineration probably not a good idea, so I'll go for Heaven's Thunder. Yeah, I do need to work on Jenny's water level a little bit. It's only 14 right now, which is decent, but it could be better. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot of combos also with um, Heaven and Hell, aiming, uh, painful beat with Jenny, and also special shot with Roberto. I've actually done a couple uh, all out attacks with them. To deal like over 9,000 damage, which is pretty sweet. Right then, boom, yep, yeah, easy enough. And we win. Any stat gains for any, anybody? WP for Roberto, and that's it. Okay. Well, actually, these guys, the Darms can also drop you a Fire Beast skin. It's a, a decent armor. Well, actually, it's decent as in it's kind of crappy, to be honest. Though, if you get one, keep it converted to chips later on if you really want to. And now we're fighting Sargon, and where is Sargon? Um, Bushfire? Ooh, okay. Hello, oh, oh, geez, hi, giant flame monster thing. Okay, now, before we take on, or do anything with this guy first thing, um, I recommend going for regenerate first thing. Regenerate on Primera, um, the staff, uh, we can go all out here, actually, so let's just have him use, uh, Gale Blade. Um, Roberto, go for regenerate on the staff, because he's a frontline dude. Um, Denny, don't use incineration here, because Sardon's the Fire Lord, so that makes it kind of stupid to do that. So, um, let's go for Gale Trade, actually, see how much damage that can do. Or throw eternity staff. Yeah, that's, that's the nice thing about training around here or anywhere in general with this party. You have so many unbreakable weapons at this point. And Primera has um, the Beast Lance, the staff has his own steel swords. Um, Denny has the eternity staff. And we will get an un a, a un unbreakable bow for Roberto in a little while, so I definitely want to get that. 
Yeah, that's the only thing that really holds you back from training in this game, is just your weapons, really. Just, they break after a while, and it costs money to repair them. So the unbreakable weapons are a huge advent in training, obviously. Okay, so let's see. So after that, after that first round, we generate on Roberto and Ginny this time. Just staff go for Gale Blade. Um, so let's see. Here, on Ginny this time, and then go for another Gale Strike. Yeah, Sardon has a little over 24,000 HP. Um, he's decently powerful. He has a lot of flame marts available, obviously, since he is a Fire Lord. Although why he's transformed to this giant beast thing, I don't really know. But I didn't make this game. I wish I did, because that'd be fantastic. Because I love this game. But, I digress. Anyway, so pretty much just did regenerate on the party, uh, and you're pretty much fine. Um, if you need to heal, use, uh, use your LP, but regenerate should really take care of healing in general, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. And then when we're done with that, we'll just go on um, Thousand Cross with Primera, Gale Blade with her staff, um, Roberto have him go with the uh, Scratchle Shot, and Jenny go for Gale Strike. Yeah, at this point, each, each character should deal a, a, well over a thousand damage by themselves. At least, and hopefully more than that later on. So this won't take all that long. If I'm kind of weird and a little ironic, or I don't know if ironic, but it's kind of weird that we're fighting the Fire Lord in a, like a forest area around here. Like, it's kind of weird, I don't know. Although I guess Flame Arts do have tree in them sometimes, like for incineration and bushfire, for example, so it's not the craziest thing in the world. Fireball! Okay, that kind of sort of hurt, maybe, a little bit. Um, how am I doing on HP? Do I need to heal anybody at all? Pfft, no. I'm doing just fine so far. Here, your generate is just really, really damn good. I mean, sorry, it brings back over 100 HP for Primera, Roberto, and his staff on their own. And since Sardar can barely deal that much damage, we're pretty much invincible, essentially. Also, um, this Sardar's spark level, if you want to learn any extra arts from him, it's a 35, actually, which is really, really high. So th th there's some high-end arts that you don't have yet. You can try to learn them here if you want, but... It's Probably not advised. I mean, if you want to, by all means, but just kill him. You'll be fine that way. Doesn't really matter. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, Fireball again. Um, it's decently powerful. And Heavy Kick, okay? Didn't realize you didn't uh, do your own combos. But, oh well. Um, I should probably heal up a little bit. Now, I didn't really use that much LP at all for training, naturally. Because if I needed to heal, what I would do, again, just um, what I call defend healing. It's just, um... Yeah, just fight a, fight a battle with a weak enemy, or kill all the enemies until there's only one left. Then you, um, defend, have everyone defend, or just uh, defend and use, uh, regenerate on the entire party. So then just keep defending until your WP and SP comes back, and you're fine. Because you have regenerate takes care of HP for you, so you're pretty much fine there. You won't need to use LP at all. Although there were a few cases I actually did have to, because Primera almost died, like, once or twice. So, that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it, really. Sardon should be dropping pretty soon, I would think. Now, please die, sir. There you go. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! God damn it, god damn it! Anyway. Alright then, Denny's, Denny's party was victorious. WP. I want everybody to get a stat boost in this battle. I swear to God, I'll kill you if you don't. Guinea, get something. Please get something, I will kill you. Okay, Roberto, jeez. Okay, HP for Denny, good. And some more chips, and ah. Uh, he didn't also drop a, um, uh, what's called an, an uh, Ouroboros. It's, um, U-R-O-B-O-R-U-S. It's a very, very good spiritual. It's got a power of 55, and it's water elemental. So if you need, if you can get one, that's fantastic. But it's not unbreakable, so just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and save up again. And am I actually... I forgot, and I kind of messed up earlier, um, I actually skipped ahead a little bit in scenes here. Uh, th that's something different, I'll be going over that in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, um, the Inset Megalith, this one was actually supposed to be done earlier. Um, this one's supposed to be done before this quest, actually. Um, yeah, actually, um, right after the, um, yeah, right after Jenny's, Jenny's Adventure, you're supposed to do this one. So I will go over to that for next time, but I'm not quite done yet, because there's nothing else in... I want to see if there's anything else I can do right now. Um, there's this Battle of South Mountaintop, but there's also a different one available. Um, I haven't seen two of them yet, but there's one with the actual battle, and there's another one with Guinea's party from a different perspective. And there's a Law Pulse. I will be doing the Law Pulse later on for the uh, a side quest later, later on. But uh, what I will do, my target will be the Inset Megalith for next time on Let's Play Sonic Frontier 2. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.